Are you a small streamer trying to break out of that small streamer mold? Well, I've got one game-changing tip that will help you look and feel more like a pro each and every time you stream. And the best part is everyone can do it. Hey guys, I'm Eric Logan Summit. Logan Radio rocks on Twitch, YouTube, and every other social media platform in existence. And if you're just like me, you probably started streaming with a setup just like this, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. We all had to start somewhere. I did. And these were perfect. We had a microphone. We could talk to our audience. We could talk to our squad. And we could hear everything. What more do you need, right? Well, then you got a little bit more into streaming. And you upgraded your microphone, right? Because audio first, kids. Audio first. And now you're just stuck with these. Clunky headphones that hide your natural beauty. You know they say you can tell a lot by someone? By their ears? Just ask Jennifer Garner. Hey, Jen. Look, in the radio biz, the correct vernacular for these headphones are cans. Well, now you know why. But I've got good news for you. We've got good news. You don't need them silly cans no more. It's true. Yep, you can get rid of them. Right now. You were supposed to catch. I think the warranty's still good. All right. You're off the softball team. Good. Now that we're alone, we can talk candidly. I know you're thinking to yourself, but Logan, I play first and third person shooters. I need to be able to hear those footsteps when they're coming up behind me. I also need to be able to hear all those lame jokes, heavy breathing, chip eating, mic touching, and bad call outs from my squad. Look over there. Trust me. I know, and you're gonna be able to hear all that in breathtaking clarity. Well then, Space Cowboy, I've got the pro solution for you. The Shure 215's IEM, or in-ear monitors if you're not into the whole brevity thing. And the best part about these bad boys, they're not gonna break your bank. No, 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 no. You will still have plenty of money left overwards for popcorn and soda when you're at the theater. Is that even still a thing? I don't know, maybe. So let's hop on Amazon, shall we? And go check these bad boys out for ourselves. Now you'll notice that in-ear monitors vary in price wildly. And it's because these are primarily made for musicians. But neither you or I are jumping around on stage like Dave Grohl or Harry Styles, nor are we trying to hit that high note like Ms. Grande. It's true, right? So we don't need all of that. We just need clarity, sound isolation, and of course, comfort. Most importantly, comfort. These are gonna change your life. Well, all right, maybe not your life, but your streaming life, big difference. The Shure 215s are a great buy. At only a hundred bucks, you get professional IEMs just the auxiliary percussion version, not the lead singer version, that's all. And we're not trying to secure a spot on American Idol, so it doesn't matter anyways. So let's get in here and check these bad boys out, shall we? Oh, open sesame! All right, here we go, guys. Looks like I was opening them up backwards, fantastic. All right, here we go. Empty box. Here's our shirt carrying case. That's handy. It's got a little clip for the pros. So you can look like a real sound engineer running around with his clipped headphones on his belt. Ooh, I'm a pro. Put that away. Put that to the side. You might need that. Now, look at these guys. These are all the different fittings. These are all the different fittings that you guys get. Hard to see because of the bag. But you get a bunch of different fittings right here so that you can make sure that your ears are comfy. And that's really why you bought these things. Because you want the comfortability and you want to look cool. Let's put them on, shall we? All right, first things first, how do you know right from left? Well, if you look on them, one will have a blue dot, and that's left, and one will have a red dot, and that's right, okay? Or they'll say right or left on them, depending on which model you got. All right, so this is the left. 
that says sure so we know which way it's gonna go and here we go let's put these bad boys on they're a little bit more difficult if you have glasses you might want to take your glasses off to start and they go around the ear <laughs> All right, there you go. They're so comfortable. They block out a lot of the noise. This just feel like you're wearing ear, uh, earplugs in. I should probably be talking a little bit louder because it's gonna seem like I'm wearing earplugs. And there you go. They're on. Oh yeah. Make sure they fit properly. Make sure you like the feel. Now you can, you can adjust them right here as well. Ooh, ooh. Adjust them right there for a tighter fit if you'd like you could even wear them you could even wear them behind you if you if you really wanted to musicians would put them over their head and down their back like this so you wouldn't see it and boom now you can't even tell I'm wearing headphones now with them in the back like that they might get stuck on your chair a little bit but that's okay Make sure they are on correctly and they feel like you're wearing earplugs, okay? You don't want to be able to hear anything but the mmm of your voice, if you know what I'm saying. Please put them on correctly as they go around the ears to keep them out of the way. And make sure to get the right fitting earpiece because comfortability is key. And there you go. Bam! You're rocking out like Adam Driver at a Maroon 5 concert without a shirt on. Hey, thanks for watching. For more tips just like these and how to grow your stream and engage your audience, check out these videos right up there. And please remember to be good to yourself, be kind to others, pay it forward, play it forward, rock like a party star, party like a rock star, smile strong, laugh loud, and last but not least, please like, follow, and subscribe so you'll know when I'll be live on Twitch, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time or 3 p.m. GMT, and of course, you want to know when I'm dropping my next YouTube video or giving ballroom dancing lessons. Hey, thanks for watching. Take care.